Okay guys, today we're looking at a 1966 13 window walkthrough. Um, I teased a little video on this a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago. It was actually the day that the sink road flooded and I had this sitting in the shop and kind of talking about some plans, uh, what we were going to do to it. We really honestly didn't have to do much. We actually put a new uh, master cylinder on it and then we rebuilt the carburetor put put a you know well just put a kit in the carburetor and uh, change the oil this has been sitting for a couple of years a friend of mine bought it uh, back in 2016 and actually when I teased the original video of this um, a user a, a YouTube username of VW nut I believe was uh, his username didn't catch his name but uh, he said that he actually this this bus came out of West Virginia if I remember right and then he sold it to a friend of his in Oklahoma and that's where my friend Aaron picked it up in 2016 so Aaron actually uh, moved out of the country and uh, asked me if I would help him sell this bus and so basically this is this is the video we're putting this up for sale right now if you look down in the video description um, it'll have the price down there and if it's been sold it'll say so in in bold print that's the first as soon as it sells we'll put it up there that it's been sold but we'll leave the video up so let's walk around this thing and have a look at it. Uh, VW Nut said that this thing was, like I say, pulled out of West Virginia, I believe, in 2014, 2015, or pulled out in 2014, and then the work that he did on it was uh, between 2014 and 2015. Actually, it sounds like he drove it around quite a bit um, after he got it back together. It's got some different stickers and stuff. I believe he took it down to some shows down in uh, down in Florida, if I remember right. But uh, it's a little, it's a little rusty. But honestly, it's it's usable just the way it is. I mean, there's you could kind of just take this bus and drive it the way it is, and just kind of address a few little areas, mainly under under the uh, cargo doors. But let's start on the the left front corner here. Um, the wheels, I'm assuming, were put on at that time. They still look great. The tires are in very good condition. Lots of tread, no checking or anything really. The nose on this is actually really nice. You know, down here along the bottom where you'd kind of expect to see some rust, it's actually not very rusty. Looks like the door was a velvet green and then uh, resprayed. Deluxe trim's all there. Safaris were added, I believe, at that time as well. If you look here, see down the side it actually says art institute and then under the art institute you probably won't be able to see it in the video but then there's kind of some lettering here it looks like it says nursery kindergarten and then around to this back hatch you can actually see school bus right here so apparently it was used at one point um, as a school bus so let's let's pop down here and look at the lawn wall so there's our jack point i actually used this jack point when i had it on the lift um, it's pretty solid all right so let's move up here to the inside uh, front seats were also re re padded and reupholstered in 2014 2015. there was some rust repair done uh, this front floor you can see there it was replaced looks like with classic fab patch panel uh, the dog leg still a little crusty down here. It's actually pretty solid the rest of the way up. Door panels are missing. The dash is uncut and actually pretty straight. No additional gauges added. No headliner. All right, let's pull back around, look at the passenger side. Again, the nose, a couple little dings up here above the emblem. Down low though and rust wise, really nice. Um, windows here, there's some surface rust, but nothing through. I'm gonna come back to the roof, we'll probably do the roof last. The roof definitely has some issues. 
Again, this door, you can see evidence where it was originally a velvet green. Let's move inside here. Some more rust repair was done here. Again, these dog, the bottom of the dog legs, pretty rusty. Rest of the dog legs, pretty decent. And this jack point right here is no longer with us. It has been reclaimed by Mother Nature. So there's the uh, bottom of the cargo doors. Like I said, they are they're pretty rusty. They're pretty much they're pretty much just gone. The cargo doors themselves. Let's close this back up. Deluxe clocks actually there. Again, the safari windows were added in and uh, they weren't really finished off necessarily. Um, they were just left raw. The doors open and close decent. The front doors, these cargo doors are a little loose, so you obviously get some rattling as you're driving down the road. And then if you look at this hinge here, it's a little loose. Bottom of the rear cargo door is pretty rusty. Um, the front one, I guess, is fairly rusty as well. Original panels on the front door. Panel on the rear door is missing. Long wall panel is there. Um, bulkhead panels are there. Seats are, I mean, obviously original rear seat, um, not original middle seat. And uh, they're, in, they're in decent shape. You know, guys are actually selling, there, there's a way to kind of convert these seats to make them look correct. Honestly, I'm not sure what year this seat would have come out of, but it looks bay window to me. I'm not uh, an expert on these by any means, but. This is uh, more than likely an early bay full metal seat. Um, kick panel on the under the rear seats, pretty hammered. And then you can see about like right in here. This is all new metal here. Has had seat belts added. There are three seat belts on the middle seat, and then uh, I didn't mention it, but on the front seats it also has seat belts. So it has seat belts for five. There are no seat belts in the uh, <clears throat> on the rear seat. So let me close these back up. Another thing I didn't mention, um, I just noticed up on the dash, there's a bunch of uh, clamps for the full length roof rack. I'll find a photo of that and s just slap it up here in the middle of the video. But it's kind of a there are the rest of the clamps for the rack, but it's kind of a homemade, full made, uh, excuse me, homemade full length roof rack. Um, I believe it's a six leg. It's a uh, pretty high profile. Like I say, I'll throw up a photo of it. So back to the back here. Again, there's our rust. So for the transmission, this has a 68 bug trans. So it's a straight axle. And then the front had the spindles flipped. That's how uh, they accomplished kind of the lowered stance. Basically, it gets rid of the reduction boxes and just goes to a 68 bug transaxle. It uh, is, it's a nice height because it's still pretty usable. Um, you can, we actually just got done taking it on a little trip down a, some dirt roads and it actually handles dirt roads and, and stuff fairly decent. Um, but it's not, it's not so low that you can't drive it, you know, and it, but it looks nice. So this rear corner, you can obviously see, this is obviously the, the battery side. There's some rust. Oh, that's on the passenger rear corner. Come around to the driver's rear corner, and it's a lot more solid, which is pretty typical. Now as far as the package tray area here, we've got some pretty good rust here. And uh, you can see, I mean, it's, it's pretty rusty. And Aaron actually sourced this piece of original metal, which is included. Um, it's got, you know, everything you would need there to, to make the repair. 
you know, the actual package tray itself is not bad. It's just this, this lip here where the seal goes. Um, inside of the hatch, original panels are there. Jail bars are there. And uh, engine is a 1641 single port. Um, heater's obviously not hooked up right now. It's a little carburetor wise. I think it's just got a 30 pick on it. It could probably use, probably could handle a little more carburetor, but that's all it's got on it right now. And honestly, I don't know how it's jetted. Fires right up though, runs pretty good. Deck lid's got a little bit of, a little bit of rust. Back around to the long wall, this corner, driver's corner is actually pretty straight. All the vents are nice and straight on both sides. There's no holes or drill, drill marks, anything around them. So that's all, that's all pretty nice and straight. But again, uh, rust on the long wall. There's, it's definitely there. It's not as bad as the short, the, the car, under the cargo doors. The pop outs all function. Um, I did notice that this front one has been welded. Pop around to show you that. It's had a repair there. But the pop outs all function, they all pop open and close the seals are pretty hammered um, the frames are pretty rusty in fact almost to the point where they'd probably you know if you're if you're planning on restoring this you'd definitely probably be changing those out but like i say this bus in my opinion is one that could just be used just the way it is i mean you could enjoy it and have some fun with it so one area another area that's a little rough on this bus let's go back here and look above the rear hatch see the hatch is kind of beat up right here apparently uh, v-dub nuts uh, the guy who commented and kind of gave us a little bit of the backstory on this said that a tree had fallen across it and he just kind of pushed all this out but you can see the roof is it's pretty hammered so that's probably the ugliest part of this bus is is the hammered roof with a roof rack on it you don't notice as much but uh it's definitely definitely kind of beat up there and i hate to say it but this would be a really good candidate for you know maybe a roof clip um got those new roof clips out the deluxes you turn this thing into a 21 and uh take care of all that roof damage. I personally wouldn't do that, but there's a lot of guys doing that. So there it is, guys. I'm gonna set the camera down or actually have somebody come grab the camera and uh, I'll fire it up real quick, let you hear it run. Um, it does have a couple little exhaust leaks, but it runs out strong. And then I've got another video that we just shot a few, oh, an hour or so ago of us running this thing down the road. So we'll let you take a, take a look at that as well. I will, again, like I said, I will post the price in the description of this video. And if the bus, when the bus sells, um, we'll mark it as sold. So if you see it marked as sold down there, it's gone. But thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you later.